On a sunny spring day, everyone was on the streets to find a Father's Day gift. The toy maker Geppetto, who was standing alone in his shop, was looking out sadly because he didn't have a son to give him a Father's Day gift. His cat Tutu came and sat on Geppetto's lap. Oh, I wish I had a child. Of course, you're a child of mine, Tutu. <laughs> Geppetto wanted to make a childlike toy for the first time that day. And he took a piece of pine tree stumps and began to carve it. Ouch! What? Did you say something, Tutu? Geppetto heard strange sounds as he carved the log. Ow! Ugh. While Geppetto was painting the stump he had delicately carved, he left it on the table and went out in front of the shop with curiosity. At that time, the log in the form of a puppet boy jumped up from the table. Geppetto couldn't believe his eyes. Hello! There was a talking puppet standing in front of him. You! You're a talking puppet boy! You are my Father's Day gift! Father's Day? Are you my father? Yes, son! You are now my son, too! And your name is... Let me think... Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Let me cook you a nice meal, Pinocchio! When Geppetto went inside, a mischievous woodpecker came to Pinocchio. Hey, kid! Tuck, tuck! What are you waiting for? The weather is beautiful! Come out! Out? Yup! Tuck, tuck! Go and run free! As the woodpecker said, Pinocchio went outside and started running. When Geppetto returned, he could not see his son where he had left him and was very alarmed. He went out and ran to find him. But because he was too old, he got tired and sat down. Pinocchio, on the other hand, was running around and got lost in the bazaar. Ah! I mixed all the roads! How will I go back to my father now? As Pinocchio wandered around sadly, his stomach rumbled with hunger. He saw a beautiful fruit stand up ahead. He dipped his hand and took a banana. Hey, kid. You can't have my fruits for free. Don't you have parents? You have to give me money. Oh, well, I actually have a lot of money, but at home. At that moment, Pinocchio's nose began to grow. Huh? My nose! What's wrong with my nose? My nose, my nose, my nose! Pinocchio was running around in panic. If you have money, you should bring it right away, kid. Oh, no, no! Don't be angry! I can't because I don't have any money, sir! When Pinocchio told the truth, his nose returned to its original state. But he ran away without realizing it. Finally, he stopped in front of a window and looked at his reflection in the glass. My nose is the same as before! Master Geppetto looked for his son from street to street until dark. Finally, when it started to rain, he started to wait in a corner, hoping that maybe his son would pass there. Where are you, Pinocchio? My dear son, where are you? Pinocchio, on the other hand, was drenched in the rain and smells like wet wood. He desperately jumped into a trash can to shelter from the rain. But in the morning, he realized that he was not alone in the trash can. Hey, wooden kid, I'm very hungry. 
Let me nibble on a piece of your foot and fill my stomach. Pinocchio was so scared that he wanted to leave immediately. But the mouse grabbed Pinocchio's foot with his huge hands. No! Let me go! My dad is a tiger! If he sees you, he'll eat you in one bite! If your father was a tiger, you would have a tail too! Yes, I already have a tail! When Pinocchio lied, his nose grew again. My nose! Then give me a bite of your tail! Pinocchio jumped out of the trash can in fear. Don't bite! I have no tail! I have no tail! Pinocchio stood in front of a puddle and was relieved to see his reflection that his nose had returned to its original state. Hmm, that means I have a nose that gets longer when I lie and shorter when I tell the truth. However, he did not notice the evil thief approaching him silently from behind. When the thief saw a puppet running and walking Ow. by himself, he wanted to steal it and sell it. Thanks to you, I can make a huge amount of money. I'm rich now. Let me go. I'm a real kid. I'm not a talking puppet. Master Geppetto looked at every shop and every street he saw throughout the day. But he could not find Pinocchio. Maybe my son went to the beach, but what if he fell into the sea? Geppetto rushed to the shore and began to look for him, calling out. In the meantime, he saw a strange-looking big man carrying a large cloth bag on his back. He approached him and asked him if he had seen a puppet child. Recognizing his father's voice, Pinocchio immediately started screaming. Dad! I'm here! I'm here! When Geppetto heard the voice of his son Pinocchio, he asked the man to give him back. The man, on the other hand, said that he would sell him and make a lot of money, and pushed Geppetto aside and continued walking. At that time, Pinocchio lied constantly inside the cloth bag. Hmm, and, uh, I'm a thief too! Um, well, I have got a lot of money! The color of my hat is also red! And that way, his nose grew and the cloth bag was pierced. And he jumped out of the hole and ran to his father, Geppetto. Daddy! My son! When the thief noticed this, he angrily walked up to them. Geppetto threw the fishing net on the ground at the thief. The thief got caught in the net and lost his balance and fell into the sea. Geppetto and his son Pinocchio hugged each other tightly. Pinocchio immediately restored his nose by telling all the truths he knew. And also, I'm a good kid. I don't want to upset anyone. Besides, I love my dad so much! At that moment, a miracle happened, and Pinocchio became a child of flesh and blood. From that day on, all the fathers and sons of the city believed that miracles are created out of love, not lies. Mm -hmm.